Come on. Welcome to Money Savage REI, and welcome our guest, strong and powerful Monica Jazik. Monica, are you ready to do this? I am so ready to do this. Thank you so much for having me today. <laughs> yeah, excited to have you on. Monica is a wealth builder. She's the founder of Real Property Investments. She's an entrepreneur, author, speaker, television personality. Again, I'm excited to have you on. Monica, tell us a little bit about your personal life, some more about your work, and why you do what you do. Well, thank you. Thanks again for having me here. I'm so excited to be here. Um, like you said, I am a wealth builder. First and foremost, I am a wife and a mother of four wonderful yet expensive children. <laughs> and um, I'm just here to live my absolute best life. I've actually been had the privilege to be able to create my life and live life on my terms. And that's really what I'm passionate about helping other people do. Which is a nice thing to be able to do. So be able to create the life you want four kids, family, success, that, that does sound pretty good. So it does, it does. And it certainly is creating. And I take Coco Chanel's phrase, my life didn't please me. So I created my life. Okay. And it's kind of funny how you said that to create the life you want four kids. Cause I always knew I wanted four kids, which is kind of crazy. So I guess it started a long time ago where you visualize it and kind of really figure out what it is you want. Then it's kind of more likely to happen. So what was the uh, what was the tool or the 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 vessel that that helped you to do it? Vaughn, <laughs> just kidding. That's my husband. Couldn't do the four kids without him. Right. That, that... <laughs> so... this, this is a podcast on biology. Oh, right? for sure. Yeah. No, I... <laughs> You're blushing now. Jeez. <laughs> I feel like I actually might be. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, Vaughn, so, so, so Vaughn was obviously an important part of this. <laughs> He's a little bit involved in this. He was, he was <laughs> no, I, I think the vessel's mindset. It's just kind of the mindset and your attitude and, and people's ability to really be introspective. And this is in regards to anything like what wealth building, life, family relationships, like how can you really dig deep into yourself and figure it out? What is it you really want from this world? And really kind of come to that realization that life's not happening to you, that you do have that ability to really go in and design your life. And if you're someone who wants four kids, I mean, and you make that your sort of purpose or your mission, because this kind of was like something percolating in my mind, in, in my ideals and conceptions towards family. And then I guess once you kind of plant those seeds and really kind of start to set your intentions, life kind of tends to sort of unfold because you're almost creating it and designing it as you're, as you're moving forward and moving through it. And finances is a huge, huge part of that as well. Yeah, for sure. So how did you figure that out? How did you figure out the, the importance, the necessity of the intentionality? You know what? I was, I have always been a quite introspective person. Um, I do have my first degrees are in psychology, sociology, family and child studies. I was supposed to be, a family and marriage therapist, and I was going to save the world with family and marriage therapy. I don't know what I was going to do here. Um, but, you know, like so many plans in life, like it doesn't really turn out. Um, I finished my degree. I kind of went through the school to life transition. I ended up traveling the world and, and meeting Vaughn. I actually met him in Australia, of all places, where I was living and working and just really having this this great life. And um, after we met and, you know, fell in love and quickly, you know, got engaged and married and traveled the world together, you know, we kind of really figured out what we sort of wanted as a couple. And I was finishing my master's degree after I had my first, our first son after we were married. And um, I realized the one thing I wanted in life really was to first and foremost be a mother. I didn't really ever think about that before, to tell you the truth. I mean, I have six years post-secondary education. I always planned to work. I just didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. I guess maybe something in the education is where I was getting my master's degree. But it wasn't really set in stone. And I was finishing that up when I became a mom. And all I knew at that point was I don't want to be tied to a job. I want this freedom in my life. Like, I don't want to work from nine to five every day and have my family as an afterthought. And that was a decision Vaughn and I made as, as a young couple. Um, and we made it quite easily because it just kind of felt right with our, with our heart. 
And then the joke is after that, then we had to figure out how to afford the school. Right. Because society today really is designed for two full-time salaries. Vaughn's making great money and I'm not bringing home that full-time salary. Unfortunately, you know, it doesn't pay to stay home with kids. Um, and then we started having more kids and more kids like we do have four kids now, you know, so the more you have, the more expensive they get, the more older they get. And you think like when they get older and they're in school full time, you go to work full time. Well, they can have you in that classroom every day. Like kids get busier as they get older, it seems. So we really figured out finances uh, was a huge uh, part of this puzzle because whatever your attitude is towards money, you need it. Uh, people interact with money. They could hate money. They could love money. They could have a little. They could have none. They could have a lot. But money is a part of everyone's daily life. And we hide, you know, from our wealth stories too much. We're not really putting finances to the forefront. And I had to figure out, like, okay, we have this goal um, pretty much to live off one income and raise this family. I'm going to really see where we're working at with money and how this works. So I kind of started taking the finances, I put it to the forefront and I was doing everything the traditional way, like what you're told, you know? So I'm like, okay, so we worked really hard, check. We both have lots of education, check. Now we have these responsible jobs, check. We still have no money, like what's going on here, you know? <laughs> and it was kind of frustrating. And, you know, so I'm saving 10% and we're opening up all these, you know, registered funds and planning for all these long-term savings and nothing's working. Like it's just not growing the way, the way, you know, it needs to be. And, you know, what do people want? They want to be able to afford to retire. They want to help pay for their kids college. They don't start out in debt. You know, you just want to make something for your kids and give them some money for a down payment on a home and doing things a traditional way was not working. I figured out the only way that we have a chance to even, having somewhat of a chance of any of these goals is me to go to work full time. And so for Americans to make two six figure salaries to go to work full time made absolutely no sense for me. Yeah. And, you know, I figured out we need to start learning to invest different. And I really just started researching different ways to learn to invest. And it is real estate. I really strongly feel is the number one wealth building building tool out there. And when we figured out how to master this tool and really kind of give our brains a 180 in terms of, of finances from for traditional financial planning, that's when I could comfortably been a stay at home mom for over 17 years now. Um, we have created to figure out how to pay for all four kids college tuitions, which is a huge, huge uh, lump sum because I didn't want them to start their lives saddled with debt. Yeah. Um, I don't, I want to give them that kind of running head start. I'm not talking about spoiling kids here, but you know, like studying is really tough and it takes your focus. I don't want them to be worried about paying off things as well. I just want my kids to be really focused and I want to be able to retire. And we were able to tenfold our retirement savings from, from doing things the traditional way. And we were even able to retire Vaughn at uh, the age of 40 he was able to leave his job as well. He walked into his office and gave himself the best birthday present in the world, um, <laughs> which was he left his, his work. He did not want to do it anymore. He wanted the freedom in his life to start working on the business and helping other people achieve what we achieve. Because with four kids running around, they range from age eight to almost 17, uh, they have us on our toes <laughs> every sure. day. So we were really able to kind of create that freedom and design our life. So we're both home. We could put our family first, but we also have the finances to be able to afford that. Well, amen. All right. Well, that's certainly something that, that everybody wants. Not necessarily four kids running around, Monica, no. but whatever. You don't even have to have kids, people. Right. It's totally okay. <laughs> <laughs> people always look at me like I expect them to have 10 kids. I'm like, there's all kinds of families, you know? It's just like, what is it? People, a lot of people have only children. And what's wrong with that? Or no children. Or two, like, people need to start putting those judgment hats away. And because people do look at me like I have two heads when, when we say we have four kids. They're like, whoa, like, what's wrong with you? It's not Get like a it's hobby, 15. Lady. <laughs> four is not that many, Monica. It's not, it's it's not. not that Some crazy. Some people have 10. What's wrong right. with that? Like... Well, 10, 10, 10 might be a bridge too far. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. So I, I, I appreciate I appreciate everything you just said. Being able to being able to provide kids with their education so they're not going into life with a bunch of debt. That's an awesome thing. Being able to retire at, at any stage of life, but certainly forty is an amazing thing and be able to live life on your terms. And you found that 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 for y'all it's the that that real estate has been the means to do that. And now you're 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 helping others to do that. So tell tell me a little bit about that, please. So with real estate, like I say, it is the number one wealth builder. Real estate is such a powerful investment tool. It really is a strategy that everyone can participate and everyone does participate in it, even inadvertently. You know, shelter is Maslow's hierarchy and needs. We need a place to live. So everyone has real estate over their head. They're all benefiting from from real estate. So everyone is like incorporating real estate into their daily life um, already. Now, the problem is is that people think that to invest in real estate, you have to be at a certain financial snack bracket. You have to, you know, buy the house next door if you live in an expensive market. It just feels unachievable. And I know what that feels like because it stopped me for many, many years from moving forward. I'm just like an average everyday person who has figured out, you know, how to kind of master finances and really help people grow their money. I'm a wealth builder and I can help people of all different levels. And we help everyday people invest like this top 2%. 90% of the world's millionaires are investing in real estate and all of the wealthy individuals have real estate in your portfolio. So it doesn't have to be a huge endeavor. It does not have to entail parting with a lot of money. It does not have to entail with owning a hundred homes. It doesn't even have to mean you do it full time. It doesn't even mean you have to own one home. It means you have to figure out how real estate investing works, which is a very, very simple strategy and how you could take the money that you do have and figure out how to incorporate that into your portfolio, whether it's active real estate is maybe you just want to add one income property, you know, to your portfolio, or do you want to kind of explore more passive investment strategies uh, with different companies where you can participate in real estate investments, you know, through the use of, of your IRA or just through the use of your savings where you, you don't have to do the active real estate. But the most important part is you do have to understand how investments work. Americans need to stop handing their hard-earned money off to people to grow it for them. This is not brain surgery. People in the finance industry have a tendency to talk over people's heads. And they do this so people cannot understand what they're saying and they feel like they have to hand their hard-earned money over to someone else to figure it out for them because it's just not for me. I just don't get finances. It's just over my head. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, wake up, people, and start learning, <laughs> you know, what you're talking about. Warren Buffett says investments should be so simple, a four-year-old should be able to explain it with a cramp. I'm not a mathematician, but I understood a negative in front of these returns that was coming in when I was investing the traditional way. (laughs) And that was enough for me to open up my eyes and be like, look, I got to do something, something different. I have no business background. I have no finance background. I've never even taken a business course when I was in school in my life. I was supposed to be a family marriage therapist. Remember, I was supposed to change the world and the structure of the family. I wasn't supposed to go in and, and give financial advice here. But, you know, through a lot of hard work and perseverance and personal experience, we figured it out. And it was a long road, that's for sure. I mean, we've been in this for over 10 years. We made every mistake under the sun. We even wrote a book, Real Estate Mistakes, Our Mistakes, Your Success. And from that, we really kind of figured out what to do to to help people and, you know, how can we get people that advice. So I like to think of every single mistake I've ever made you know, makes me an excellent consultant. Yeah, well, I certainly agree with that. All right, so so people, the, the the people who are listening say, well, that sounds pretty cool. Like, how, how how does the program actually work? What 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 can I expect? Well, expectations lead to failed relations, you know. So, but I'll I'll lay it out to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What, I can ex- you can expect to be a so, multi-millionaire overnight. <laughs> yeah. 
you could actually you can <laughs> you can actually expect to take action right away. Okay. I do believe education, the truth will set you free. And it really is just people um, they can expect real advice and real lessons that are broken down in these layman's terms. So everyday people can really learn how to start moving forward. So we have general information that we provide in regards to real estate, in regards to wealth building. We have, you know, the courses, the learning tools and all that sort of stuff. But the way that real estate education has really, really been lacking is with people's personal situations. How can they apply it to themselves? Because your situation and your goals would be totally different than my situations and then my, uh, my goals. So we've created this education platform that really we kind of are the anti-expensive real estate coaching group. There's a lot of real estate investment education out there. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. I have participated in a lot of it um, and I've been watching how everyone one does it. And there's such a small group of people who are actually looking to invest in real estate that the courses have always had to be super duper expensive for people to, to participate in this information. And when I'm talking expensive, I'm talking about you could use a down payment for a house for the amount that people are really kind of putting in their real estate education. We want to make our education and empowerment accessible as possible. So we are created a community on real property investments of membership, monthly membership at a low cost to give people this real information. So they get the real information and then they're actually able to apply it to their personal situation. So they can figure out what is it I want to start achieving, not what my neighbor wants to achieve or the classmate. What do I want to achieve and what are these steps that I can actually take? So the exciting part is, is we have gone global and we have a web platform that gives everyone the same information, but then we have actually teams of live experts who carry out investment models that can help people, you know, do what they are wanting to achieve. So you're mentioning earlier, you're in Arizona. And we're able to connect you with, you know, actual mortgage specialists in your area that, and we could educate you on real estate models that actually work in different areas throughout the U S and then you're actually in touch with a live human being. You have the opportunity to learn about it as well, not just in this real time, you know, or online, you're actually able to visit, learn how these things actually work and make your own decisions. We're about empowerment. We need people to make up their own minds. You don't need people to talk you into things. You don't need people to talk you into taking expensive courses. You don't need people to talk you into investing in their real estate opportunity because we don't even have real estate opportunities. A lot of people think real property education or investments is a fund or where we want you to invest with us. We don't even want that. We're fine. We have our own thing going on. Now we're focused on spreading the word to help everyday people learn to build wealth the real way. And that's all we're trying to do. Love it. Well, Monica, Savage Nation is ready for your difference making tip. What do you have for them? You, the first step to uh, building wealth is to invest in yourself. And education is the number one way to go because if you don't start learning how to do doing things different, then you're going to just be doing things the same way and nothing is going to change. It's your number one. It's the only life you guys are ever going to have. So you may as well embrace it, live it, challenge yourself and live your absolute best life. Well, I think that that is great stuff. That definitely gets, come on. You only get one crack at this, Monica. You got to get started. I love it. You well, do. You do. Every day I wake up, the first thing I do is I thank God for giving me another day on this earth. I love it. Because we're just one heartbeat away from death. And, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on. Where can Savage Nation learn more about you? Uh, at realproperty-investments.com. Check out our different membership levels. They start as low as $25 a month. And we are not having a free 30-day members trial. So make sure to check that out. The new year's here. And 2021 has to be better than 2020. So let's start building wealth today. Love it. Well, Savage Nation, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, show Monica your appreciation and share today's show with a friend who also appreciates good ideas. Uh, check out the site, which you can find in the notes of the show. 
and um, definitely encourage you to check out that uh, that 30 day membership. Thanks again, Monica. Thank you so much. And until next time, keep fighting the good fight because we are all in this together. <laughs>